So my name is Paulo Pacheco. I'm a PhD student in computer vision. I'm glad, I would be glad to help you with uh, something you want or you need. Uh, and for this very initial introductory talk, I'm just briefly going to present, give you a couple of hints on, on some tools for surveys that you could uh, potentially use. So that's the one and only slide that I have. It's the, it's about, gonna talk about Scholar, Google Scholar, and a little bit about the library. So how many of you is familiar with uh, Google Scholar, have, have seen or used? How many are not, never used it before? Okay. Uh, that's, that's a very interesting, Tool, you just uh, type on on, uh, on Google Scholar, for example. If you if you type something like image feature extraction, let me go back to the to the, so that that's the actual home screen, and I have I have made uh, previously this search on image feature extraction. So by default, it orders uh, approximately by citations. Why do I say approximately? Because sometimes uh, it puts some more cited pieces of work afterwards. Maybe it's related to the year of publication. It has other criteria for, for ordering, but it's anyway, it's approximately uh, ordered by the amount of uh, citations. So taking, for example, uh, say, maybe this algebraic feature extraction of image for recognition. So that's interesting. This is a 1991 paper. So sometimes when you go on uh, some certain topics, you would find that the most analytical procedures are old, older papers from 90s, sometimes from 80s, 70s, even from the 50s, because there are more like math theories, computer science theories, but not applied to machine learning yet. It, 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 so some of them come from the time where machine learning were not developed yet. So if you'd like to actually filter out some more modern uh, machine, machine learn, uh, learning approaches, you could maybe filter out uh, since, say, 2015. Definitely, if you filter out after 2012, would be a good guess for you to, to get more deep learning things, right? So in this case, I got uh, a supervised, for example, deep feature extraction paper. And there are a couple of interesting links here. If you go for related articles, you'll find, well, the first one repeats, but the, the next ones are related to that article. And uh, you can also go back, of course, for who is, sitting, is citing them, right? That's another possibility. Again, order mostly by citation numbers. And a very important thing here in academic uh, work is like you have access to this tool where you could export several formats for citation. Uh, I believe that all of you have access to, to the RefWorks. So once you get installed, RefWorks is, is, is a library for managing citation, citations and, and articles. Then it exports and talks directly to RefWorks once you click on this link. You can also look up for particular uh, author. Uh, 
for example, it, so if you click on the person's name actually over here, so you can go for a history of uh, citations, most relevant papers, you can order by year or you can order by citations. That's another pretty cool feature on, on Google Scholar. Uh, once you have a publication, if you click on that, you can go to its uh, source and download it. But sometimes your access is not, is not allowed unless you are on uh, uh, the university's uh, network. So, or, or on CLV if, if one lives at, uh, at the university's residence. So in that case, if you don't have that access and you are out of this network, well, we have always the option for the VPN, but you have also the option for the library. So you go on this link, you can find an article there. And again, uh, in this machine, I don't have it configured for logging in, but you can log in using you know, your Wattcar barco barcode. So you just check your Wattcard, and there is a barcode in there. And then you, once you are in the library, you, you would be allowed to, to see the article as well, right? Uh, for example, here on this page, Let me see, I haven't tried this, this uh, particular article. So there are two sources. Let's click here. And it goes to the same place I, I was before. So the University of Waterloo Library, once you are logged in, should, should allow you to download an article. And, and last, uh, I'd like something, I'd like please take a note of this. This is a very interesting hint. Uh, look up, go, go on Google. If you want to get some inspiration, you can go on Google and, and just type, uh, let me go to the actual Google. <laughs> what happened? Go on. Okay. Uh, if you go on Google, you just uh, type awesome something. Awesome data sets for, I don't know, NLP, for example, right? So this word, this keyword awesome is interesting to use. And it, it brings you best these, best that. Uh, if, you, if you work that together with uh, awesome links for computer vision. So they, they love this type of, that wasn't the case. Well, just awesome papers. Awesome computer vision groups you can check out. So that's that's another. Just use this uh, type of creativity. You, you can get plenty of uh, yeah yeah. So that that was about it. Just just a very brief uh, introduction.